You all listen to the song. Listen to the song, please. Please. On the sound of spring in South Africa, singing hymns of God who preserves me. Yeah, we did ain't know what was wrong. Oh, all of a sudden, the earth began to quake and the foundation. Well, that shall begin to shake the door for a moment. So don't tell me what points can I do. The sound of our face makes the mountains move. I'm not waiting to mourn. I will worship you right now. I'm not waiting to mourn. I will worship you. Thoughts are creeping out just like a prison. Don't forget your song, the Father's listening. Every melody in every word. This is the breakthrough. What if God is doing something brand new? So don't tell me what place can I do. The sound of our face makes the mountains move. Let's build the hill with our praise. For nothing can hold back the Father's praise. I'm not waiting to mourn. Okay, y'all, I love the two minute worship session that we just had, and I hope the lighting is a bit different. But I'm hoping that it's gonna stay great because you all, yeah. I just don't like the lighting to be bad. So today, in today's video, hello guys, hello, 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 I'm back, I'm back. Um, in today's video, we are just gonna let Holy Spirit talk, let Holy Spirit flow, let Him cook, let Him cook. Um, and yeah, we're just going to talk about my number one topic today is how to implement God in your daily life. <laughs> okay. So I have my notes right here. Take notes. And we're going to start off with how to start your day off with the, with the Lord Jesus Christ. This can also start like... Start your week off. Start practicing the Sabbath, maybe. Maybe that's where you need to start. Maybe that, maybe we need to start practicing that a bit more. Maybe that's, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's where you need to start. But anyways, so, when you start your, your morning is the root of the whole day, okay? So, when you start, the start of your morning needs to be positive, and lovely so that your whole day can be positive and lovely so wake up early five o'clock in the morning who yeah you you yeah mm -hmm. i'm talking to you wake up early five o'clock in the morning um and waking up early is not easy i know i know I'm, i speak from experience it's not easy but when you wake up, yes, yes, it's up. When you wake up, sit up and switch on a light, okay, so that you can wake up, okay, so that your body can wake up. 
so that you don't go back to sleep and just like even if you have to sit there for like two minutes and just be like gather yourself and be like okay bring yourself to yourself okay just wake up early and start your morning off with Jesus okay and doing um, having the version Bible on your on your phone can also help you with that and putting not just waking up social media no 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 because I know that it's, it's a bit difficult but like we have to build the habit to start waking up and looking to our Bible first thing in the morning start waking up praying first thing in the morning okay okay yeah so wake up um wake up whatever time works for you wake up early like and just spend time with the Lord Jesus Christ like Bible study pray worship you know whatever that might look for you but just implementing Jesus into your day sorry is important so yeah even starting a plan on the Bible app might work for you even like even in your morning if it's just like five minutes ten minutes spending time with the Lord Jesus Christ if it works for you do it because one day it's gonna become 30 minutes then it's gonna become an hour then it's gonna become like two hours and you're not even gonna feel it in the presence of, of the Lord because it's the presence of the Lord is just so good like I, I don't want to leave I don't want to leave can I just stay here forever like please um, but yeah so make it a habit so that when you don't feel motivated to get up that you do it anyway because you've been practicing it for so long and that it's now already a habit so that so like now while you're building it to become a habit and sometimes it's gonna be like mm, I don't want to wake up bruh. like can I just sleep for an hour hit that snooze button no that snooze button doesn't exist on your phone okay it doesn't like it might be there but it don't exist please please so just wake up wake up okay <laughs> So yeah, stop sleeping on yourself. Like wake up and let us get on our Zoom, guys. Let us get on our Zoom. Let us start being the people that God has called us to be. Let us start working for the kingdom of God. Let us start bringing souls in to heaven. Let us start. <laughs> Why does that sound like a... Um, I don't know. But yeah. Um... Slana, uh, uh, what is this? Ma Martin Luther King vibes that it was given. Let us start waking up early. <laughs> uh, okay, but yeah, just having God in your morning routine, just and yeah, it just helps you stay intact for the whole day. That's basically you putting glue together basically putting glue together on yourself so that you can stay sane calm patient throughout the day okay and with the people that we encounter each and every day let us try and spread the gospel what is the gospel i got this question yeah and I was like, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. <laughs> because that's the gospel, right? Am I right or am I right? But the gospel is that God is love. And that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for us. For me. For me and for you, bruh. Like, think about that. Let that, let that sink in. God sent his one and only son, bro. His one and only. Some of us are not even willing to give up our phones to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Not even willing to give up that boyfriend, that girlfriend. This is your life you're playing with. Eternal life, boy. 
Like this is this is serious thing, bruh. In this song, it says, "No matter how good your person or this your crush or whatever looks, that could be good as dead, right?" So basically, the person might not be good for you, okay? Basically. <laughs> If it's your sign to leave the person, this is your sign. I'm just saying. He's been asking God for signs. He's been placing the signs in front of you, but you're not listening. Yes, yeah, your sign. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm not joking, actually. Actually, yeah. Um, Second Corinthians 5 verse 21. Let us go to our Bibles and be at peace. So it says, For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made righteous with made the righteousness of God in him God is Jesus Christ is our mediator and literally sitting on the right hand of the Father pleading on our behalf okay God cannot be God cannot be where sin is so we 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 like we live in this dark fallen world okay and we are wanting to be like jesus wanting to reflect 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 jesus christ and th that comes with a lot of hate that comes with a lot of bashing that comes with people are gonna be speaking bad about you people not liking you it just comes with that but like if it's for god then i mean please i am begging you do it fine persecute me please because if it's for jesus yeah yeah it's fine it's fine yeah please yeah 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 so yeah the people that we encounter back to what i was saying the people that we encounter on a daily basis we need to Find a way to spread the word, spread the good news, spread the gospel. Um, the gospel is the good news. But how do we do that if we not even fall to the good good news, or if we don't even know the good news, or like yeah, we don't we don't. What is this? What is this new things? Um, this is why it's important to stay in your word. Okay, we need to stay in our word. We need to be eating the word up daily, picking our cross up daily, killing our flesh. The only good Christian is a dead one. Okay. The only good Christian is a dead one. And it might sound bad, but it is. If you... Oh, sorry, guys. If you kill your flesh daily and make it a habit, it's going to come to a point where it's like, it's easy for me, like, that sin that the devil's trying to tempt me with, what is that? I've been here before. I can just overcome that, like, in a second. Like, yeah, you tried it, devil. You you tried it, like, don't, like, what are you doing? Please, get a life. You know? Like, it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be like, no need to sweat. God's got me. We can go through this. We can overcome this. And... Like, at the start, it's difficult, but once you, like, perfect it and, like, just get to it, it's going to be so easy. It's going to be like, yeah, we've been here before, so, yes. We just need to eat the word, boy. Like, sometimes when you're reading, when you read, re when we read a word, okay, I just feel like sometimes when I read the word, like, I can just, oh, it's literally, like, feeding my spirit. I can feel it feeding my spirit like that's fruit that fruit i wanted to say food for thought where did fruit come out from anyways that's food for my spirit you get me you get me yeah um so yeah and i wanted to say that these christians that speak on being holier than thou being perfect being firstly you cannot be perfect no one is perfect everyone falls short of the glory of god and i feel like if we were perfect 
that we wouldn't need a savior. Right? Am I right or am I right? So in 1 Corinthians 9 verse 14, it says, Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should love of the gospel. So don't just preach, but practice what you preach. Put your money where your mouth is, right? Um, yeah, cheap. I mean, talk is cheap. Cheap is talk. Talk is cheap. But let's see the actions. Let's see what what are we doing. Like, I want to see actions. We can't just pray to God. Good Jesus. I need to go down this career path. I need this to work. But we just sit here and praying. Where is the works? Faith without works is dead. Okay. We're not saved by our works. Okay. But faith without works is dead. So. We need to put do our best so God can do the best. Okay. And when we. I'm still on the topic of encountering people. When we do encounter people, we need to also be filled. Yes, that's where I was going. Being filled with the, the, the spirit and the word. Okay. Being filled with the word and just pouring out good news to the people that we speak to on a daily basis. I feel like when you, when you just come with that positive energy, when you just come with love okay that the people that you talk to feel that like they feel like oh yeah yeah she stepped into the room he stepped into the room like we see you you know it just gives up gives it just gives off that vibe that energy you know um and yeah you're yeah yeah be confident in the lord jesus christ be confident in his name be bold and I feel like we need to start being bold, okay? We shouldn't doubt what God can do through us, in us and through us, and for us also. Because God can do anything, okay? It, just because we didn't see it doesn't mean he can't do it, okay? Yeah, that. Allow God, this is a thing. Allow Jesus to be Jesus. Allow God to be God. Because we 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 sometimes are like, yeah, I am self-made. I am independent. I um, am building myself up to be the greatest version of myself. No wonder you're such a mess, bruh. Because you're building yourself up. You... You are taking the place of God. God is supposed to be building us up, building you up, bruh. Okay, God needs to build you up, not yourself build yourself up. No, 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 no. Wrong way, wrong way. Um. And yeah, like just can't, you can't build yourself up, boy. Let Jesus take the wheel. Okay. Be the passenger prince or princess. Be the passenger and let God drive. Okay? You just keep praying. You just keep interceding for whatever situation you're going through. Just keep praying. And let God show. When you are weak, He is made strong. Let God show you who He is. When you're weak, God is able to show you the things you can do. The miracles. Um, Just show you who. He really is and just be God when you are when you are weak so yeah I hope that this is going to help you guys because when we go through trials and tribulations we sometimes fall off from like having our relationship with God on track and I feel like on track I feel like um when we go through um, hard times that we run from God in order, in order, instead of running to Him, 
we need to run to God and not from Him because He's the only one that sustains us at the end of the day. We need to be anchored into the Word of God. When we are down bad, when someone did us down bad, I'm wrong, when um, we're just not feeling it, we're just tired, we're just like, <sighs> like bah, another day, another day, um, but just read your word. The word is what's going to keep you anchored. And God's word is just so amazing. Like, sometimes you feel like, oh, okay, this is boring. Like, I have to read the Bible, okay? You read because you're obligated to. But I don't want that to be the spirit that we do, do it from. You need to be wanting to hear from God in a relationship that you want to hear from that, that person every day. And once they leave you on bed, and then you're like, okay, I did not ask for this. Communication is key. Okay? Communication is key. We need to communicate. But you're not communicating with God. It's giving one side of the relationship. It's giving you being toxic. Yeah. No. So let us let us do our part and let God do his part. Okay? Let us go to him when we are happy and when we are sad. When like things are going great, we need to thank him. Even when things are going bad, we get to thank him because in that our um we just have a chance to grow. I think that's in and first John, I think first John one, um where it says when our faith is tested our endurance has a chance to grow so we need to be um joyful when we um come over trials and tribulation when we come over hard times we need to thank god like thank you because now i i can grow in this area that i didn't even know that i needed to grow in but now that you've shown me that i need to grow in this area i'm gonna try and perfect it to a point where it's like, we are, when I do get tempted with this, this small thing, it's just like, okay, yeah, here we go again. And then it's like, we've perfected it, and now it's like, yeah, we got this. We do it with confidence, okay? Um, and I feel like we need to start taking life seriously, and start, like, whatever little thing that happens in our lives, we need to start taking it serious and praying about it. Praying about things that happen in our lives, praying about things that we see on a daily basis and people that we see on a daily basis. Like if you go, if you have a conversation with someone else and they can feel, like I feel like you can feel the ener energy that they come with. Like whether that's bad or they're just sad, they just, you like pray for them, ask them if they need some prayer. And I know sometimes we're not bold enough to do that, but like. Just ask Holy Spirit to help you and to speak on your behalf, okay? And just go before you and let the Holy Spirit do his, do his thing. Just you be obedient to the Lord's word and see what God can do in your life once you're obedient and once you say yes. Once you say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ, it's just alive, your, your life. Um, your life gets changed like... Why'd you say yes to Jesus? Okay, let's put that on the side. Let's just wait for them to pass by. Um, you'll be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we don't just say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ and go back to what we used to do. We say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ and we go and do what He wants us to do. Okay. We work for, we do things for the kingdom of God, okay, and, um, yeah, I feel like we just need to start going deeper with the Lord and start taking, um, life seriously because nowadays it's just like, uh, we're just working to earn rent and we are just living at this point. Like, we don't have any purpose, we're just living for you. Yes, you have a purpose. God has called you, Okay. And it's up to you if you're gonna answer that call or if you're not gonna if you're gonna just say ah oh, no i'm gonna 
I'm gonna just keep living the way I'm living, keep being depressed, keep having this um, struggle and the sin that I'm struggling with. Um, and I feel like we need to just start going deeper with the Lord, start taking our life seriously, because this is not a game. This is really not a game. The devil works over time, and we are play- we out here playing with our lives and with people's lives. There's no time to play because the devil is a roaring lion seeking for someone to devour. Like he works over time, night shifts, boy. He's working. And what are we doing? Out there, willingly going to the devil's playground. On our highway to hell. Nah. We, like, no. It shouldn't be that way. Like, if you're seeing someone, also, also, you need to be a witness. If, you, if you're seeing someone that's going down uh, a road that you know you yourself went through that or you know that it's not a good place for them to be or to go tell them like don't be scared like if i was if i was to say to you um there's i'm making an example in this room there there's i heard uh uh, analogy that China and China Ann, um, said so basically she said this is what she said if there's a snake in my backyard or if there's a snake in my backyard and I am with you I just come from I go there and I see there's a snake and I'm like oh my goodness there's a snake goodness run back inside okay and I'm just like I'm just gonna keep quiet and then you say okay you're gonna go to the back you want to um i don't know see the dog whatever i don't know um you i'm quiet knowing there's, there's a snake in the background i'm quiet like i don't tell you any, i'm just like yeah you can go or yeah sure and you go there and the snake bites you and you run back and you're like um why did you not tell me that there's a snake in the backyard bruh and you're just gonna let your, your friend die like like that knowing that you, there was a snake in the backyard i'ma come to you and i'ma say um oh my word there's a snake in the backyard do not go do not go there but it's your choice if you say ah i'm gonna see for myself then i can't stop you but i'ma warn you okay i'ma warn you that there's a snake in the backyard don't go there but you, if you want to be brave, right, boy. Um, but yeah, uh, we need to start taking God seriously. It's not a joke, honestly. God, I feel like we don't have the fear of the Lord, and that's why we play with the Lord's name, and that's why life is going the way it's going. Things in this world is just come becoming darker and darker, and I pray that this generation will just. Be on fire for the Lord. Like keep being led. Letting nothing stop you. Just be on fire for the Lord. Oh my word. You have to start mowing now. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Patience. But yeah, yo. I pray that this video was edifying. And that you guys got gems from it. I know it was. It's just short and sweet. And we just took all the time. But um, yeah. I just pray that you guys have an amazing day and that you guys will come back to watch more videos please i love you so much god loves you and stay blessed have an amazing day start um making a routine to put god first and put him at the center of everything taking whatever's on the throne of your heart and putting God there where he belongs. Let God be God and you just do your part, okay? Don't doubt what God can do through you and for you, okay? Because he can do, he can do everything, everything. But yeah, I love you guys so much and God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.